What I love most about working at Chester Zoo is our conservation. The feeling that coming to work every day, you're making a difference. What I love most about Chester Zoo is that we're not only showing animals to the public, but we also work in situ projects in the wild. And the connection with the zoo is what I love most. I'm able to be one of a privileged minority, indulge my passion and interest in life, which is reptiles, amphibians and fishes, and make a career from it. It's not a job for most of the people working here, it's a vocation. They're committed and they love what they do. Last year, over 1.3 million people had a fantastic time at Chester Zoo. Chester Zoo is a great success story, a place where everyone can have fun. Across the globe, over 600 million people a year go to zoos. That's almost the combined populations of the USA and Europe. More people in the UK visit zoos than go to football matches. I love the fact that the zoo has a very positive purpose, that we're, we're, we're dedicated to conservation, uh, both in the zoo through breeding rare and endangered animals, but also in the wild. Chester Zoo is a charity. Its mission, shared by a team of around 500 dedicated staff, is to be a major force in conserving the immense variety of the world's wildlife. The care, welfare and commitment of the zoo's people make this happen both at the zoo and in the field. Already, Chester Zoo is independently rated amongst the top 15 zoos in the world. But to expand its conservation work, look after greater numbers of species and continue to launch and spread its educational and scientific programs, the zoo needs to move on. That's what natural vision is all about. It's the next logical step for Chester Zoo. Natural vision is a, an exciting new concept in, in zoo development. We're, we're actually going to create a far larger extensive area for our animals to occupy and we're going to have a much better mixed group. So the whole feel of the, the zoo is going to be much more naturalistic. It will result in a world-class visitor destination that opens up exciting employment opportunities with a big economic impact for England's North West. This project is going to be very important for the zoo because it's, we've been around for 75 years now and this represents a major expansion, a major development for us. It's a big project with a total budget of over £220 million. The first phase alone will cost £90 million, but it will be well worth it. The zoo is changing shape. It's becoming a living storyboard of life on Earth, a storyboard that will help visitors connect what happens at the zoo with its conservation, welfare, educational and scientific work in the field on over 150 vital projects happening in 50 different countries. Habitat zones are being created, giving the animals the most naturalistic living environment possible and providing visitors with a range of exciting experiences to help them plan their visits and get the most out of what the zoo has to offer. The physical appearance of the zoo will change, so people can discover more about the world around them in an imaginative, adventurous and fun way. Using part of the huge surrounding land bank that it owns, Chester Zoo is also growing by about a third, making it much more than simply a day out. In the middle of the restructured enlarged zoo is Heart of Africa, the most visually dramatic part of the plan. The Heart of Africa is going to be a very exciting new experience on a massive scale. It's going to be a dome about a third bigger than the one seen in, in Eden. But instead of just plants, we're going to also have animals, notably including gorillas. It's going to be multi-layered. It's going to be full of adventure and excitement as you go through the exhibit. Tremendous educational interpretation. But also there's going to be retail and catering facilities built into the whole building as well. So it's going to be a, a, a multifaceted experience. It's going to have the visitor coming out at the end and saying, wow, that was just absolutely fantastic. Visitors will explore and immerse themselves in Heart of Africa using walkways to take them to the steamy top of the rainforest canopy. They'll also venture through rustling undergrowth into clearings with rare gorillas, chimpanzees and okapi. Wide covered walkways will give visitors the chance to explore the zoo in comfort all year round, 
there will be wider tourism benefits, including a themed hotel and a transport link via the Shropshire Union Canal, leading to a zoo-based marina. By the year 2012, over two million paying visitors will enjoy Europe's best wildlife attraction. As well as having a great time, they'll get a much better understanding of the ecosystems that enable our planet to survive and what individuals can do to help reverse climate change and environmental deterioration. The thing I'm looking forward to most about Natural Vision is working with a larger number of animals, that are a wider variety of species and working in the new state-of-the-art enclosures. I'm most looking forward to having the opportunity to work in some really, really world-class facilities uh, and improving on the great facilities we already have. It's going to mean a lot of new and exciting species in the zoo. I'm looking forward to expanding our outreach work to, to work with those species in the wild. For me, I think it's starting with an almost blank slate and then trying to develop something entirely unique and really special that you can find in no other zoo in the country. Bringing natural vision to life isn't just a good news story for the zoo, its staff and guests, and for our partners in England's Northwest, it's great news for people and animals everywhere. <laughs>